What did you find in that meeting to be the biggest challenge? Well, for me personally, it was because right as we were leaving from Mexico City, my father died. And, um, and he died in Latvia, which at the time was part of the Soviet Union. And even if, and at that time, to get a permit to go to the Soviet Union, it took you weeks. So I know what I wasn't going to be able to go. So I flew to Mexico City with really the first week. I, I wasn't sleeping. I was very upset. I wasn't sleeping. So, and so the hollows under my eyes were real. Uh, and then it's strange because Burt Young's father died the following week, and he couldn't, he didn't go to the funeral either. He didn't, for some reason, I don't know why he didn't fly back. But uh, that was the personal, and that was the biggest challenge for me, was just kind of getting through that emotional period. And then, and then in a way, just concentrating on, because you, know, you have to separate yourself from Dolores Montelli's father hadn't died, her husband hadn't died, they were just totally dysfunctional and going, you know, everything was falling apart. So right. that was, that was because other than that, I mean, everybody was wonderful on the, everybody was wonderful. We were all, all staying in the same hotel, James Olson, uh, Jack Magner, myself, uh, Diane Franklin. So we were really bonded because we would see each other for breakfast or we'd see each other on weekends. Bert was in a like little hacienda somewhere by himself, but we saw him enough on the set where we still bond bonded with him. He was kind of, he'd like to joke around and clown a lot. But it was, it was because we shared so much of our time together on the location, nobody went home. It's when people went go home to their apartments that you don't get that bonding. But when you're on location, the same thing happened on Deer Hunter because Michael Cimino was very smart. He got us there a week early at this Holiday Inn, 20 miles outside of Pittsburgh in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of this heat wave. And we all had a, a week of we were eating together, having lunch together. So it's very smart. So by the time we got on the set, we were already friends. But the same thing happened sort of in Amityville too because we started out in Tom's River doing the exteriors, but we all went home, you know, to our homes in, in New York. But once we flew into Mexico City to Chiribusca Studios, and we were in the middle of Mexico City at this one hotel, just us, we got very close, all of us. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So the dysfunction that existed on in the film, in the depiction of the family, because you were so comfortable with each other, did that make that easier? I think it did because we were, in a strange way, the paradox is that you can play the dysfunction if you're comfortable more than playing the dysfunction if you're not comfortable. So, uh, because we were, we were, Kind of okay, you know. Let's go for it. And we trusted each other. We trusted each, trust each other. Yes, exactly. We pushed the boundaries, and we we had that trust. So I think that's where it worked really well. Of course, you use your imagination, and you think uh, of you know, like in the basement scene. What if? Uh, although the guy was there with a the hairdryer blowing, you know. So you got to deal with. But I said, what? Because it was a, it was a kind of a nice set because it was kind of spooky mm -hmm. and that helps because you're there I'm walking around the set and the basement and it was like oh this like added to it so it's, I walked around and walked around and walked what if what if what you know you do the what if imagination it kind of started giving me the, exactly. the goosebumps mm -hmm. I said oh, this is really good so when when he was doing it with the dryer and everything it was like what if what if something like she said something touched me mm -hmm. but what you know when when the dryer is going something touched me what if that what if that was like a spirit passing through me mm -hmm. what was that spirit around me that you know that touches you was there anything that you did in the film that was improvisational that wasn't necessarily in the script like i thought of that when you were talking about the the basement stuff was a lot of that was improvisational okay. because uh or some a lot of like because when the when the 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 blower blows my blouse mm -hmm. I, I and that's when i that's my line said some, something something touched me mm -hmm. something something touched me uh, if I remember at that point, uh, Jack comes, Jack comes in and, at that point, and you have this just like mortified look on your face at that moment. Yes, and, and I added that line because I said it would make sense because why would she be was, so terrified because she felt something touch her. So I, I, I added that line, and Damiano was fine with it. So there were little, like little la lines like that that I added or that, that uh, 
I think in the dining room table scene where the mirror breaks, mm -hmm. some of that was improv awesome. because we were, you know, it just was happening, you know, that moment. So there were a few lines in there that we improv that Damiona liked also. Were there any, um, were there any scenes that were particularly challenging that you had a hard time with? I think the, the, the scene where, uh, where I, I, I had that fight with, with Bert and I'd scratch his face where it's a very brutal scene. And I think it was even more brutal when we filmed it, they edited it down. But um, also when he slaps me, oh, he, I mean, one of those takes, he really hit me. It really stunned me. Be and, and, and I said to Bert later, I said, you, you can't hit me that hard. I'm not going to make it through how many takes that we, we have. We had at least a dozen takes on that. I said, I'll be out cold. I'll be on the floor. So he said, oh, I'm sorry. Because he's, he's a strong guy. So, um, but it, that was done in like one take. It was hard because the way the Damiana wanted the movement of the going. And that was hard. It was very challenging because when you have to do at least a dozen takes on that one and have that intensity every single take it was it was that was very that was a very challenging one wow wow awesome cuz we spent the whole day on that scene <laughs> it was very difficult for me uh, and I'll tell you why they had built the set with a wooden floor so when it came time for Damiano he wanted me he wanted um, uh, Jack to come out of the room and shoot me in the in the stairwell, the hallway, the har hallways. Right. But nobody had put down a rug or a carpet, so I, when I fell, I fell on on that hard wood floor. Now, um, the first take was probably the best take, but the camera screwed up. It was out of focus, or something had happened. Then I said, okay, so we'll do it again. We did it the second time, something else screwed up with the camera. Did it the third time, something else screwed up with the camera. And I said to Damiano, wait, because I'm really hitting that floor hard. But there's nothing to buffer me. And he, he, the way he shot it, you had to see the whole body. So it wasn't like in sections. He shot it, so you had to see the whole body hitting the floor. So I said, let's go over this by the numbers. Let's just do this, make sure the camera people, make sure everybody gets it. So we, we just rehearsed it without with me just kind of going down but not really falling. We must have rehearsed it at least six, seven or eight times. So finally I said, I said, okay, has everybody got it? Then they got it, and then we shot it again. And that's the, that, the, that was the take. So Damiano said, I've got it now. So each time, because you had, when he shot you, immediately you begin to see the yes. flow of the blood. You had to go get cleaned up. They clean, reset that get whole clean thing. up, reset the whole thing. Oh. They did have many different nightgowns, okay. which was, which was a, the wardrobe person was very smart. <laughs> so we didn't have to walk. But yeah, they had to reset it. But they only had, I think they only had like six or seven gowns, and we'd already used three of them up with, with the, because the camera wasn't in focus or something shook or something. So we only had three more to go. That's why, and plus my head, my body was yeah, getting, point, yeah, I was like, that was it. Right. So then when we did it on the fourth one, mm -hmm. it worked, and Damiano said, that's fine. There's a rape scene. They had to cut that because uh, they said that it was too upsetting to the audience because they, they screened, when too they screened it, audience. that the audience was too upset by that scene. It was a very brutal scene. Damiano wanted that in there, that, that he really brutalizes not only his children, but he really brutalizes his wife.